Releasing this Saturday, Jordan Brand is dropping the Air Jordan 13 in the Black Flint colorway with a retail price tag of $200. And in today's video, I'm going to give you my take on this release. We're going to discuss it a little bit and towards the end of the video, I'm going to give you some resale predictions. One of the best Air Jordan 13s of all time is the OG Flint with the blue, gray, and white color blocking scheme. Now that's a sneaker that a lot of people love, it's a straight classic for a lot of people. A couple years ago they did give us the red flints which is basically the same sneaker as that but they replaced the blue with the red and I gotta admit that's a clean sneaker too. You know a lot of people kind of slept on that one, that one sat around for a little bit but that was pretty dope in my opinion. Now they're giving us the black flint. Now I don't know if they're kind of going to maybe continue on with this, maybe drop a, a green flint or a purple flint or something like that later down the line. But these black flints right here, I think are sleepers. I think this is a nice looking clean shoe. I think this is gonna look great with a lot of outfits. I think people will also sleep on it. So I think it's gonna be more obtainable, like an easy cop on release day. I don't think this sneaker is gonna fly off shelves because normally Air Jordan 13s are just really not that popular at scale. People that love them, really, really love them. And if you're on the fence about this Air Jordan 13, I think this is gonna be an easier cop on release day. Now, as far as expected stock numbers for this sneaker, I don't have like the exact stock numbers at this time, but typically like Jordan Brand drops a whole bunch of Air Jordan 13s pretty much for every single release. If you remember a couple of months ago when they dropped the playoffs, there was a whole bunch of pairs of those, which was kind of cool. A lot of people were able to get an OG colorway into their collection fairly easily. I remember last year they dropped the French Blue 13s and those sat on sneakers at forever. They still may be available actually. <laughs> they just sat on there forever. Like they always just make a whole bunch of 13s and the Jordan 13 is not as popular as like the Air Jordan 1 or the Air Jordan 3 or Air Jordan 4 or Air Jordan 11. You know what I mean? They do tend to sit around for a little bit. You know, they always tend to sit on sneakers for a little bit and they're always like more available at retail stores. So even though it's not as popular as like, you know, a lot of other silhouettes or anything like that, people that love 13s really do love them, pretty much cop every single one. And if this is a sneaker that you probably are thinking about picking up, it's gonna be like more of an easier cop. This sneaker is probably not gonna sell out right away. Now personally for me, this is a sneaker that I plan on picking up. I just think it's a clean colorway. I think it's gonna look great in the summertime with like, you know, some shorts and different outfits and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I even tried to have somebody customize me a pair about two years ago, the red flints. I just wanted them to dye the red parts black and then, you know what I mean? I forgot about it or whatever, but you know, it just didn't happen. But then when I was looking at the release calendar earlier this year and I saw these on there, I was like, yo, those are dope. That's exactly what I wanted. So I've sort of had this like on my calendar sort of waiting for these to come out because I just think it's really, really clean. But I don't necessarily feel like everybody feels like I do right so if you look at the like the resale market I remember a couple of months ago whenever I started seeing early pairs pop up they were only going for like 250 and to get an early pair of Jordans for like 250 two months early or whatever like that was pretty cheap but then they quickly went up to like that 300 300 plus range and you know now that we're a day away from the release like the prices have come back down so like it's basically like a 220 to 250 dollar sneaker right now retail on it is 200 bucks these aren't necessarily gonna you know what I mean move like mountains or anything like that it's not really hyped I don't see these reselling for a whole lot and if I'm being honest with you a lot of Jordan 13s that come out typically go for retail or even below retail a lot of Jordan 13s go for below retail on the secondary market this one right here I think will probably hover right over retail probably in like that 220 range or something like that. I don't see these going up to like $300 or anything like that. I don't really see this having like a lot of value. I don't think it's good for resale or anything like that. The only good part about this is if for some reason you take an L, you can't find your size, I think you'll be able to go to eBay, StockX, or Goat and pick these up for just a couple of dollars over retail. But guys, let me know down in the comment section if you plan on picking up the Air Jordan 13 in the Black Flint colorway this weekend when it drops. Is this a must call for you? Is this a pass? Do you think that they're dope or do you think that they're trash? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Other than that, I'd like to thank you all for your time. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you sub up and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of the videos I drop. We're on that road to 10K. We recently just hit 8K, so thank you for all the love and support. I love you. I appreciate you. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. For more sneaker content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video.